Hey, humble Southpaw family. Are you ready for something new and exciting? Today I am launching Range Day. Join me as I take the firearms straight to the range and let the shooting community weigh in. Don't miss out. Please let me know how I can improve this experience and what firearms you would like to see in future videos. So get ready for honest feedback and real world insight from fellow shooters. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's not a universal grip. When you don't, when you have something that's not a universal grip. Now you have to stop and think, what kind of pistol am I picking up? And you train two stops efficiently enough that if I'm under duress, I will automatically get the correct grip for the pistol that I'm picking up. Okay? Yeah. So, you start, you start with this. Thing. I, I like it. Uh, it's been a while since I shoot through iron sights. I always shoot the red. Yeah, but I think it's going to be true better than All right, let's take a look at this guy. I like the grip. I could use a little bit more aggression on that texture. I like the Smith & Wesson style shape. My little baby hands appreciate a U shape. All right, let's see what it does. I want to aim for the top right corner. Oh, a little left. There we go. Not bad. I like the follower color. All right. Overall, what do you think of the gun there? Nice impulse, recoil impulse, not super snappy. I do appreciate the RMR uh, score there. Uh, no complaints, I think that's pretty solid. Like it. The sight I am a fan of. I know a lot of people don't like that, but irons are a suggestion anyway. I like it. Okay, great, thank you. Goes in nicely. Nice and easy to, to rack from the rear. Okay. I like the sights. Recoil is, is noticeable but manageable. The trigger is um it's not light, but it's not heavy. I think I'm getting the best grouping when I have the top of the front sight even height with the back sights. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, overall, what, what's your impression? I mean, you've shot 320s and... It was, things. it was very, it was very easy to figure out the sight quickly. Like I said, front uh, sights, even height with the back sights. And you can see I'm just, uh, just above the center. But that's where, you know, once I had a hole there, that's where I was aiming. So it actually, it, uh, it was... That's pretty daggone accurate. Yep. That's uh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Well, thank you. Get it started. Yeah, it has a little bit. I mean, it's supposed to be low borax, but it definitely borax. It definitely has a little kick. But it definitely comes right back. So, yeah, I mean, oh, it's, it's definitely manageable. Yes, it's, for it's a manageable. for a budget entry budget gun. I mean, at four hundred dollars, you definitely can't 
you can't go wrong. I mean, the stippling, I know somebody, uh, Eric here at the range said he thought the stippling could have been better, but based on their technology, they've made it so that the stippling grips you better, so you don't need that aggressiveness. Has a nice the thumb point. I definitely, I'm glad with the purchase, and as you can see at this range today, had multiple people shoot it, um, and people love it. So guys, check it out. This is the Ross Martin RM1C.